guys, recently Roblox has been making a lot of changes and updates to their platform. But strangely enough, I feel like some of these updates could actually affect Murder Mystery 2 copies in more ways than one. For those who don't know, Murder Mystery 2 has a ton of stolen games that are currently on the Roblox site. I've made a lot of videos talking about all the bad things that these games have been doing to get players and to get money and stuff. In short, Murder Mystery 2 copies are like the villains of Murder Mystery 2. Like, we do not want these games on Roblox. But some of these changes Roblox is doing might actually solve this issue and might mark the end of Murder Mystery 2 copies, making them deleted forever. But there's also some updates Roblox is doing that could help Murder Mystery 2 copies get more players and more money. I don't know. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. So when we talk about the first update that came to Roblox a month ago, I'm sorry, I'm so late to this. There was just so much MM2 news on the Easter update uh, when this change got released, so I had no time to talk about it. But yeah, basically a month ago, Roblox added an AI material generator, which basically means if you have a Roblox model with no texture to it, you can just AI generate a texture onto the model. Like as you can see, a random blue cobblestone generator was added. That was completely AI generated and you can move it around and stuff, which I guess it's cool, I guess. I mean, I'm not really too sure how I feel about the whole AI texture stuff. That's really up to you guys to decide if this is a good update or not, but how does this actually affect Murder Mystery 2 copies? Well, for those who don't know, Murder Mystery 2 copies have actually used AI on a lot of their weapons in the game already. Like even before this Roblox AI generated tool, they've been using AI on like a ton of their weapon models and a ton of their textures. I don't know if every single MM2 copy does this, but I've been hearing of a lot of MM2 copies actually using AI generated weapons in their game. That's why a lot of these MM2 copies like have some items that look actually really dang cool. Like there's a lot of sick items in these copies, but they were made by robots. They got robot. I don't have use helping them out here, but this new AI generated tool on Roblox might actually help MM2 copies make items a lot quicker. You can literally, all you got to do is just grab a random model, put an AI generated texture, and you can call it a weapon. People have already been trying this out. I think see from this screenshot, uh, here's a knife and gun with an AI generated texture that actually looks kind of cool. Like, I hate to admit it, like, obviously these are not human made, so it's really hard to say if it's like a good idea or not. And here's even like an AI generated version of Swirly Axe right here. Like, these are not my screenshot. People have been sending me like a lot of their AI generated textures and stuff. And here's a few more AI generated weapons, as you can see. Like, there's some cool ones, but seeing how easy it is to just AI generate textures on Roblox, I feel like this is something that MM2 copies will try to take advantage of and make like millions of AI generated textures for all of their weapons. Like for example, this AI generated Swirly X. Now a lot of people have been up in the air on if this is a good change for Roblox, but I personally, I don't I don't really know for sure. Like I've never been a big fan of AI, but it's kind of hard for me to say that because I've used uh, AI on a very small amount of content I've made. Like for example, uh, the viral president in MM2 series that I made last year, it was just AI generated voices of the US president. And even some of the characters I used in my murder bit series like some of their voices were enhanced by ai so it might be hypocritical for me to say this is a bad idea so please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this and my main takeaway from this is that there is nothing wrong with using ai textures on roblox but it is extremely lazy and unprofessional to do that well of course this is just gonna make it a lot easier for them to like release all these crazy updates to their copies so i don't know let me know what you guys think about this but let's get into the actual good news and uh, the news that might spark the end of mm2 copies if the mm2 team actually uses this feature and it is a brand new DMCA tool on Roblox that makes it extremely easy to take down stolen stuff from games or from the Roblox catalog. As you can see on the screenshot right here, you can just uh, let Roblox know like where the stolen thing is coming from, like the link to the item and the link to the thing that's stolen. Just tell them what's going on and like that's it. Before, it was extremely hard to DMCA games and items on Roblox because you had to like email Roblox, you had to like give them like a whole essay on like why you think these things should be taken down. It was a tough process and that's probably why Nicholas never DMCA'd any of these copies anymore because of how annoying it was to do it. But now you could literally just DMCA stolen games and stolen items uh, in like a couple minutes, it feels like. And not to mention just a couple days ago, they updated this DMCA tool that lets you DMCA multiple games and multiple items at the same time. So for all of these MM2 copies on Roblox, Nicholas doesn't have to send a DMCA for every single one. He can just send one DMCA for all the copies. And I think this is great because with the old DMCA tool, it was sort of a lost cause was trying to get them taken down, at least for the MM2 team. Because of course you had to send like long essays like talking about each and every single MM2 copy and what they're stealing. And Nicholas is already a pretty lazy man as is. I mean, that's at least what people call him. So uh, expecting him to make all these DMCAs for all these different Roblox games with the old tool was uh, next to impossible. But there is a much easier way to do it now. And it looks like Nicholas or the MM2 team might have already started to use this tool. Because as it looks like a couple MM2 
copy started getting taken down a couple of days ago. As you can see, Xylink's MM2 got completely taken down. Kai's MM2 got completely taken down. There's probably a couple other MM2 copies that got taken down just a couple days ago when Roblox added these new DMCA tools. So I feel like Nicholas is starting to actually use these new tools to take down these games. Now, the only problem with this is the same problem that Nicholas and the MM2 team had way back in the day is that when these games do end up getting taken down, they'll just use an alt account to re-upload them. Like, as you guys can see, Xyleaked MM2 is already back. For those who are wondering, no, Xyleaked did not make this game. They're just lying to you to make you think that the MM2 staff team did something. Sort of like uh, some of my clickbait thumbnails, but yeah, as you can see, this is just like a random alt account that re-uploaded Xyleaked MM2. I think it's just the same guy that owns it before. All right, I'm editing this right now, and something I realized is that apparently Roblox is actually banning some of the people that are making the MM2 copies, which they don't do a whole lot. The reason being these MM2 copies are owned by alt accounts, which these developers are making. So the alt will get banned instead of their main account, but I guess Roblox actually found some of their main accounts so they can ban them, which I think is actually pretty interesting. And it shows that Roblox isn't just mindlessly banning all these games. Like they're actually looking into who really owns these games instead of these alt accounts. So hopefully Roblox continues to do this since clearly even though these accounts are banned, they're still re-uploading the game. So maybe banning their main account will slightly help removing these games forever because they might just quit if their accounts get banned. You know what I'm saying? So it is nice that Roblox is taking steps to help developers and like other copyright holders with taking games down that are not meant to be on the Roblox site. But obviously this tool is not perfect because people just make alts to re-upload stuff. And that's like the same with like stuff on the Roblox catalog too. Since public UGC just came out on the Roblox catalog just a couple days ago, if you take down like a UGC item, like people can just make alt accounts to re-upload the stuff because it's just that easy with UGC nowadays. So I don't know. Roblox needs to find a way to like permanently ban like these copy guys from making games like ever. Like I just IP ban these guys from your site so they can never enter the Roblox page again. Like I feel like that might just be the only way. I'm not really too sure, but obviously the tool we have is not perfect and we need more tools to be able to take these things down forever. But guys, please let me know what you guys think about these brand new changes to Roblox. Do you guys think that these are some good changes or do you guys think these are some bad changes? And what do you guys think are going to happen to Murder Mystery 2 copies in the future? Like, do you guys think that we might finally stop seeing MM2 copies on the website? Or do you think they're just gonna keep re-uploading their games over and over again so they can keep getting players and keep getting more money and keep scamming MM2 players? I really don't know the answer to that, but I really hope someday we can finally see the end of these copies since I've made so many videos talking about all the bad things they're doing. Obviously, they didn't do anything this time, but I'm afraid they might end up doing things or they might end up making some changes to MM2 copies sometime in the future. So just let me know what you guys think about all this. But yeah, guys, that's about it to this video. So I'm going to end it off here. So until next time, goodbye.